thanks for the suggestion. This is a this is my first time uh, ex experimenting with going live, so that I don't need to, you know, record the whole thing and, and then output and all that. So I'm trying if this works. If it doesn't, I'll just go back to the usual method. All right. So let's continue. Oh my, the weather is so hot. Uh, and it was pouring just now. Sorry, as I'm air in. Just now it was so warm. And uh, <laughs> this this is genuine hard work here. Okay. Um, let's continue on with our Q and A. I'm, 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 uh, this is getting overwhelming. Uh, should I just pick questions, or I should just go? Oh, the life is now. What the hell? Hi. <laughs> I, I thought I thought I did a schedule. Uh, oh dear! Oh dear! This is live. Damn. Hi. <laughs> so should I read here or read there? I don't know man. I see the, the questions all popping up there and I do not know how to monitor it over here. But um, I'll try my best. Uh, so now now there's, there's a... <laughs> Have I decided to buy which laptop? I haven't. Uh, there's one guy who said that I'm, I'm actually cheating, saying that I'm, I'm doing something anti-America. See, this bugger has been running. for two hours and it's only halfway done it's only halfway done and uh, I don't know how to show that it's, it's already warped okay I'll press my laptop now I don't know whether you're hearing or not so my whole battery is warped oh this is a nah this is proof alright it's warped and uh, yeah the, my laptop is fucked and uh, my live stream is fucked because I, I thought I thought this is a scheduled live stream. Then I see comments coming up. The wrong setting there. Anyway, um, what software? Uh, FCPX Final Cut Pro X is is crap shit now. I used to be able to to output a video in 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 let's say a forty minute video. I can output it in fifteen minutes. Uh, last time I even tried outputting output in 4K. Now I can only go with HD, and the whole thing just takes up at least six hours just to output a video. Damn! So this has become a ranting session. Battery below your MacBook get too hot. The battery expanded, right? It is a known issue, and uh, I checked my 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 serial number. Apple said, "Oh, your serial number cannot claim." So. I don't know how to consistently let the comments come out because I only see the comments come out for a while and then it's gone. I do not know how to... Yeah, the expanded battery is scary. I hope it doesn't blow up. Um, say hi in Cantonese. Do you know hi in Cantonese is hi? It's the same, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I miss my V12 as well. Okay. <clears throat> Do I look there or look here? Uh, I, I'm looking at all the comments here. I try to uh, go down to it. All right. So I, while I'm looking at this and answering, I might not be able to to <laughs> what 640D or 640I. Go for 640I. Okay. Don't go for 640D. That's a diesel. All right. Uh, oh shit, man. I don't know how to respond now. Both sides are coming out with comments, and the, the problem with the comments is that they, they don't stay there, they just run. And uh, oh, can I look here instead? Do I need a separate screen? Why am I looking at myself? Oh dear, this is this is a major. Uh, okay, oh, I see the comments already. <laughs> That's a lot. Ah, uh, is this a new online class? No way, I don't know, I'm just trying to get because someone suggested me, I think Mr. Irfan suggested me with live stream, so I said, oh okay, uh do live stream then. And then uh, I scheduled it for later date, but then it just popped out and uh sorry for that. So 
some of the questions I see here uh, over there as well, so I'll just answer from here onwards, all right? Um, blah, 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 blah. 2015 Countryman 1.6S, 2016 Countryman. Is that even the old one? I don't think that's the old one, right? Uh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, 2000 Countryman, yeah, that's the old one. Uh, any known issues? If there are known issues, if they, would have be, they would have been ironed out because that was the run out year. That was the last year that they were made. Uh, interior cannot be compared to the new minis. The new minis are very well built interior, but the older generation mini, the, the interior is just... Uh, I kind of find random plastics inside my car uh, when, I had, when I had it last time. So that's my interior experience of the previous generation mini. Okay, but I don't, I don't see any, any weird uh, issues with the... Uh, Reliability, mechanical reliability. All right, crap. Where did my video went? Where did all my comments went? Okay, this is a bit of a nervous breakdown. Oh, why so many negative comments on Passat, bro? Uh, I have friends where his Passat has been stage two without an issue. Uh, Mr. Fauzi, I have friends with their Passat going in and out that's why i say it's unpredictable i don't mean all of them are bad i just say they are unpredictable uh i i no longer is able to predict them all right uh okay, sorry guys all your comments are gone all of a sudden all right and i don't know where to focus this is this is <laughs> this is bad this is bad hi bobby what do you think of a recon mustang 2.3 Eco Boost as a first car. Oh, you're a baller, man. Uh, Muhammad, please answer my question. What? Hey, don't la, don't like that. Hey. Give time, hey. it's flying everywhere. Okay, la, answer the live questions first. Uh, huh? Sorry for that. Jumping everywhere. Uh, Hi Bobby, why do you choose the repeat over a Ferrari? Um, I can't afford a V12 Ferrari that is reasonably modern. That's the reason. And uh, I really, really love the GDC4 Lusso, but after driving it, uh, that kind of handling is more for the pro Ferrari drivers, not for someone like me who is used to German cars, going high speed stable, pro Ferraris. Ferraris always have a handling characteristic of having a very fast front end and that is scary for me as a as a novice driver, right? I'm not a professional driver, okay? Uh, hi, Bobby. Is it easy to find spare parts for uh, E90-320i? Yes, it is. Uh, Bobby, you mentioned you dislike Civic FB. Well, it's not I dislike. It's just that it's not a very good car, okay? Uh, Bobby, Mustang 5 liter or 2.3? Actually, I do think 2.3, but then 5 liter... If you mod your exhaust, ah, it can go very, very crazy, and then you have to pay crazy uh, road tax, all right? Uh, Bobby, I want to buy a GTR, but more bias to a performance SUV. You mean a Urus? Go for it, bro. Go for it, right? Bobby, is a Recon M4 still a good buy? Yes, it is. 528i, 3 liter. Versus 528i twin turbo. 528i twin scroll turbo. Don't get the 528i 3 liter, man. You pay road tax for not a lot of power. Alright? Uh, just, Bobby just took a used RS265. Which workshop should I go for for extended warranty? Check out the links in my other videos. Go to Club Evo and then uh, register yourself. Alright? Uh, Bobby, ex honest opinion on Passat Highline is very high performance. I thought you owned the car, right? Uh, 2010 Lexus IS versus Corolla. Oh, I answered this in my other video. <laughs> Just that I couldn't... Uh, I, it's still being output now, alright? But I did say that if I saw a Lexus IS passing me, I'd go like... 
if I saw a Kizashi, which you put there, Mr. Carlton, if I saw a Kizashi, I'll be like, whoa, Kizashi, you know? But I don't know where you're gonna get your spare parts, lah, huh? <laughs> uh, hybrid versus plug-in. Hybrid is just one step away from plug-in, right? They are both the same thing, it's just that plug-in allows you to recharge, okay? Uh, wow, it's coming in very fast. E39 versus W210. Of course, E39, bro, bro, bro. Uh, can I service my Proton Mira at Wurns Auto House? Wurns Auto House has top up, closed down. <laughs> okay. Hi, Bobby. Is the Z4 a good buy? I tell people a lot of times get the Z4, all right? Uh, Bobby, M3 or Alpina? I mean, if you're able to get Alpina, go for it, bro. The used car values of Alpinas are so high. Um, um, hi Bobby, how do you find an RS6 for 300k? Well, it's not from Carlis or Muda because the, the official resale value is about 370, 360. I heard from a dealer that one guy wants to let go of his car but he's still owning the car. So I contacted the person to contact the guy and then he agreed to sell it to me. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, X1 versus CX5. Which X1? Is it the uh, the one that is E90 base or the current X1? If it is the current X1, uh, you can go for the CX5. Uh. CX5 is a better car. Um, when will the new events gonna be? I also want to go out there, man. It's locked down now. Uh, Sirocco R or Golf R? Both are really great. I personally prefer the Sirocco R because it's not four-wheel drive. It's more exciting to drive. There's less traction, uh, less chances to go wrong, but it's more exciting to drive. Somehow it just feels more livelier to drive. All right, E92 versus Impreza. Poor. First of all, Impreza mechanicals are fantastic. Reliability is fantastic, but the version 10 is, is one of the ugliest Imprezas ever, in my opinion, all right? Probably 250,000. Where did the question went? Okay, Boxster Spider or 97 Carrera. Oh. Now, Boxster Spider is very special, but that generation, I would go for 997. 997 is gonna become a classic. It looks really, really good. All right, 997 is fantastic. Uh, CX9 versus XC90. The video is being output six hours later. Uh. <laughs> uh, E92 or 93 Cabrio. Cabrio, bro. Every time Cabrio, especially a BMW Cabrio because it's hard top. When you close it, it's an E92. When you open it, it's an E93. Okay? Uh, my opinion on Sirocco R, I love the Sirocco. If it's the R, more love. Alright? Kia Rio versus Yaris. Yaris handling is better, livelier to drive. Kia Rio refinement is higher. Uh, what are your thoughts on car vinyl wrapping versus paint job? Just got myself an ES250. Now, for a Lexus ES250, I think you can go for a paint job. Just repaint your car. Why? First of all, the kind of paint that they use on BMW, Lexus, BMW, Mercedes, all this, are not crazy expensive paint, unlike the stuffs on Porsches, Repeat, Ferraris, and all that. And Ferrari, Aston Martin, Lamborghini, all this, it's a big no-no to repaint your car. They want the original car. That's why supercars is better to wrap your car instead of repaint. Because if you want to repaint, give you an example, the dealer that sold me the repeat, there is a small chip on the car. He is experienced in all these luxury cars. He knows luxury supercar buyers, if they know that there is a small chip on the paint, and if you go and repaint it, people will be furious. He rather left the chip there because outside painters just don't have the kind of paint. All right. Uh, RS3 or A45. I think the A45 will outperform the RS3, but the RS3 has another thing the A45 don't have proper interior build quality. Okay. Um, oh, this is going too fast. <laughs> I think this is the last life I will do, man. It's crazy. The comments are crazy. Help. Uh, do I get a second-hand 3 Series or an X50? Do you think a fresh grab can manage BMW maintenance? 
um, depends on what, right? If you change spark plug, I think you can because fresh grads now so much money to drink bubble tea la, buy Adidas la, all this la. But if your turbo blew up, then you know how to. F- f- <laughs> you know what's your father's credit card number or not? <laughs> if you know, then okay lah, solve lah, no problem. Uh, uh, do you think two litre Supra will sell at hot cakes if BMW, UMW Malaysia bring it in? No, actually, because the three litre is close to six hundred thousand. Let's say a two litre, and then it's four hundred over thousand. Uh, no, people still won't buy it, and you won't sell in huge numbers. All right, nine eight one Cayman or seven one eight Cayman. I'm a nine eight one guy. Okay. And uh, I'm not a Cayman guy, I'm a Boxster guy because not every time you go, you, I mean, are you a track day guy? You're not, right? Then you get a Boxster, you drop the top, you listen to the glorious six cylinder engine from your 981 instead of the 718 2 liter turbo. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hi. Bobby, can you explain balloon financing? Balloon financing means uh, you pay a little bit. Balloon financing is for people with a future. That means <laughs> you might you might have a chance of being uh, promoted. So first few years you pay thousand three maybe, and then the from three years onwards maybe you pay thousand six because your salary has increased. Um, yeah, people would improve, right? So over the years, as you improve, you pay more. So that is the idea of balloon financing, all right? We end up with uh, Bobby XC40 or X2, XC14. X2 is, uh, I put X2 as a do not buy. I rarely review cars until I say do not buy, right? X2 is a big do not buy because it's 320,000. You are paying 100,000 ringgit more for an X1 with a sloping roof, that's it. So the X2 is it's not it's just not worth buying for the price it is, alright? Uh, and then the XT40 out handles the X2. Beats me. Your favorite beer. Uh, currently is this one? Because I cannot buy Carlsberg, but, but I quite like this one because my wife likes it. Mm. C43 Coupe Recon or C43 Sedan CKD. I mean if you love the coupe and uh, if it is a recon car, definitely they would have adjusted the mileage. But just get the car for an inspection. You can look at, you can come to us for an inspection. And uh, yeah, recon don't buy cars that are low spec. Okay, try your best to find one that is super high spec. That will make it worthwhile because when they bring in the car, whether it's low spec or high spec, right, their tax rates is the same. So look for one with high spec. All right. Hi Bobby, I own a 2006 350Z. Planning to buy a GTR. But I like the classic looks of a 370Z. What do you think? Bro, GTR, bro, GTR. GTR is one of the cars that um, one fine day I might itchy butt and and I don't know man. I, I, I would love to have a GTR. If Nissan produced a GTR drop top, I would be the first to get it because the GTR to me makes the most beautiful turbocharged six cylinder sounds. It is the best sound, especially when it's in idle. Or the sound is just epic. All right, I love the GTR. I don't like the kind of demographic associated with GTRs now, but I love the GTR. All right, Bobby CX30 Mazda three hatchback or CX5 if you have the one sixty k budget. If it's me. See, it's not my only car, but if it is me, it's definitely the Mazda 3 hatchback. But it is actually the most not worth buying one because it's you're paying 160,000 for a car that is so small, not practical. CX5 is of, of course the bargain compared to the others because CX5 is locally assembled. So if you are talking bang for buck, it's definitely the CX5. All right, um, Perdana V6 versus Sefiro. Sefiro la bro, real good drive. Uh, Bobby, can you do a back flip? What? Swimming pool, ah, front, front flip. Uh, damn, why are the comments jumping? 
2015 E200, a better car to F10 weight. 2015, is it already the new E class or the previous E class? No lah, the new E class didn't come out that early, right? The new E class didn't come out that early. Uh, F10 lah, bro. Uh, Mercedes, oh, I always get this question C300 or BMW 330i. If Mercedes did not change the suspension and the transmission mapping of the C300, it would have been an easy answer here. But the fact is now, the C300 is more comfortable than the BMW 330i. The 330i is, is very accomplished, it's very well built, it's very comfortable, uh, as, in, as in soundproofing, but the ride is so harsh, it's very, very harsh uh, for the M Sport suspension. That ruins the ride. Sylvia or 86, oh bro, if you can buy cash, of course you buy Sylvia la bro. Sylvia kills you easier, makes you manlier. Probably no airbags as well. Even if it has airbags, the airbags would have expired. So you will die very, very manly, Sylvia. <laughs> All right, uh, Saga or Beza, Saga. Okay, uh, E30 or Classic Mini as a first project car. Oh, oh, serious ah, bro. Actually, classic mini, right? You spend about 20,000, you can buy one that is already done up. 20,000, you buy an E30, it's still a crap car. You need to spend up to 60,000 to get a properly uh, done up E30, all right? Audi R8 or Ferrari 430? Ferrari 430, even though I know um, it might not be as reliable as an Audi R8, but Bro, it's a Ferrari. You feel different when you're in one, alright? Compared to an RA, even though the RA is prettier, but come on, it's a Ferrari. Even when you break down, you stand proud, proudly next to your car. Most of the time when your car breaks down, right, you will walk away, right? Because in shame. But if it is a Ferrari, you're just gonna sit on the bonnet and let everybody look at me. My car, my Ferrari broke down, you know? How proud is that? Right? <laughs> what crap am I talking? Um Wow, uh, oh my god, I really cannot keep up with the comments, man. Uh, bro, Z4 or TT? Z4, which one is great? Second hand, which one is great? Uh, uh, Z4, buy the Z4, please. All right. Um, A4 Quattro C300 Volvo S60, wow, 330R. Wow. This one really difficult question to answer. Lah. Ayo, how to answer? Um, Can I skip? <laughs> Julia or XE? Hey, are you from Malaysia? Malaysia got no Julia, bro. Uh, XE handles fantastic. I haven't driven the Julia. I heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, but the XE has useless rear seats. So uh, I don't know about the Julia though. Um, should I get an 86 or E93? Mm, are you a fresh grad? Is this your second car? Is this your first car? Your one and only car? So uh, I don't know, man. Why got something come out man? Anyway. Oh my god. Camry Accord or Passat? Camry or Accord? For now lah, because uh, I think I explained in, in other videos. Uh, Bobby MX5 or GD86? MX5. Uh, Subaru Forester CRV or CX5 Turbo? CX5 Turbo. Others how to fight? CX5 Turbo. I mean, if you can afford the 200k price tag, CX5 Turbo, bro. Uh, oh, oh my god. E38 or W220? Ooh. I like the looks of the E38. But... W220, wait, 220 is the... Wow, 220 them scary one, right? It is the one with the, all the scary technology, right? It's the one that replaces the 140, right? Hmm... Is that the one with the fingerprint sensor on the gear lever? Don't, bro. Don't. Both are scary, like, actually, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I currently own a new... I, I currently own a 2015 Mazda 6. Thinking of the 5 Series, or should I wait for the brand new Mazda 6? I don't know, man. Do you guys drive a Camry and then upgrade to a Camry? I always encourage people to drive a different car. 
Like yesterday, uh, one guy asked me whether he should buy a 4 Series or this or that. I said 4 Series. Then when I click read more, he said he currently drives a 3 Series. Then I immediately said, then you shouldn't upgrade to a 4 Series because you buy another car, you pay another loan. Every single morning, your dashboard looks the same. What's the point, right? You want some different experiences when you buy a car. So, uh, don't lie. Don't, don't uh, be so boring, right? You drive you drive CRV, then you buy CRV. You drive Mazda 6, then you drive Mazda 6. As loyal as you can be, no la. Get something different, right? Um, uh, hoo, 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 hoo. 964, 993, you serious or not? Both also we cannot afford la. Uh, DS5 or W204? Actually, I have a soft spot for DS5. A very, very soft spot for DS5. Uh, I like to see more DS5s on the road. Alright? Uh, Nissan Juke or Mini Countryman. Actually, I would love to see more Nissan Juke because at the end of the day, you are the one buying, I'm the one looking at it. <laughs> I will be 328i or C250. Wow, this one is the perennial question. Which C250? The current one? You know, I think you all you know the, the, the rough, some of the answers, right? Because the C-Class has a beautiful interior, uh, luxurious looking exterior. And the 3 Series, in terms of how it looks, just couldn't match up to the C-Class when it comes to luxuriousness. But of course, there's a lot of things that BMW are superior. And, and uh, especially the drive, how the transmission maps, you know, all that is superior. Uh, what question is that? Bobby, X1 or XC60? Of course, the XC60. What car is more fun than a GLA 45 as a daily? A rental car or your friend's car when they are in overseas and lockdown cannot come back? And then you drive their car every day, fly speed bumps and all that. That's the best car. Alright. Uh, uh, wow, 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 wow. It's just coming in, man. A used E Class or a proper X70. You see how epic or not the questions? It's so epic. <laughs> uh, Suzuki Jimny. Some recon players brought it in, but it's massively overpriced, man. Even if uh, NASA brought them, I'm not sure if NASA is able to do a locally assemble and all that. I'm not sure. What do I think of the Ferrari Roma? Ugly, hideous. I don't like the design of the Ferrari Roma. Um, but maybe because I can't get used to it. But even the exterior, I understand the exterior is the kind of very traditional um, classic European sports car design, which I can accept. And then when you go into the interior, that looks like a Porsche interior, man. Like a 918 Spider interior. Uh, E39 or E60? You know, as much as I like the E39's design, I kind of prefer the E60's exterior design more. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, well, Bobby, level up with live session. This is accidental, bro. Accidental, all right? <laughs> I thought it's scheduled for some other days. Maratau? I don't know, man. Uh, which automobile YouTube channel you watch the most? Um, I watch Doc Demuro, but sometimes it gets boring, so it depends on cars. And uh, I'm lucky enough to understand Cantonese or Mandarin. I watch Speedsters from uh, China, Guangzhou. The guy, the main host, Jackie, he's an automotive god, man. He, has, he knows his shit. All right? And of course, some random stuff that you guys also watch that, right? And I was watch uh, my, my own colleagues, Con, Bing, they all, yeah. Facelift Honda City, is that a good car? Oh, the Honda City has always been a good car. So for what it is, um, yeah, it is a good car. Okay. Uh, GLC 63, quicker than C43. I think it's quicker than 63, man, man. Are Range Rovers that bad to maintain? From what I heard, yes! I haven't owned one yet, alright? Uh, my personal opinion on Jaguar X-Type. I have a soft spot for its design, but it's very, very old already. You will be 
you are a very very courageous person if you buy one and if I saw you I will give you a thumbs up yeah should I give up my Vios and get a loan to buy F30 with my very tight budget well if your budget is tight then find a way to expand your budget alright but um, I'm someone who's like that so it doesn't apply to everybody but I'm someone who's like that I try to squeeze my budget tight so that I, I find ways to work harder uh, oh, I saw that question Bobby what do you think of the Peugeot 408 Turbo I think I answered that question in the video but it's taking ages to, to render I'll just answer it now the 408 Turbo is currently about what 20,000 right so 20,000 if you can get a car that, 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 that you can still apply for a loan has a 1.6 turbocharged engine has a large boot, large interior and all that then it's of course worth buying but do know that the 4.8 turbo is also a car that nobody likes so one day the 4.8 turbo will end up rusted on the side of the road 600 ringgit it is that kind of car it is not like a like a 3 series no matter how old it is somebody will want it you know or uh, Peugeot RCZ you know the Peugeot RCZ price will go down and then you will see it slowly go back up because it it deserves to be a classic the 4.8 turbo is not so it's one of those cars that will one, end up one day being discarded away and when you buy it at 20,000 you're just going to be 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4 and maybe you pay people to take your car, take the car off you it is that kind of car but 20k you can get a loan to use it by all means use it until it's, it's, it's gone you know so that's the 4-way turbo that kind of car um, it's moving and moving I can't even jump already Elantra versus City of 2014 I always recommend people to go for a higher segment car versus a lower segment car because a higher segment car you get better soundproofing better materials and all that all right uh, Bobby should I get an Audi S5 or a Kia Stinger Kia Stinger bro get a Kia Stinger why because there are so few out there if you buy one you control your used car value S5 is just gonna drop because there are so many out there all right and Kia Singer gives you higher ranking when it comes to uh, how the in in car guys eyes you know you park your car people will go up go over to your car versus that S five there nobody will bother about him right uh, there's another question that I saw S L K or Mustang uh, no 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 I think the guy was asking A forty five or Mustang get the Mustang. Yes, it's a 2.3 turbo, the A45 is faster while you're driving your Mustang, the A45 at the rear can flash you, ask you, fuck off, you know It's a faster car, more brab, more excitement, everything But, but, let's say the two of you, the A45 arrives first, then you are behind him You all roll up to a hotel, right? The valet is there The In front of the valet hotel parking only left one spot I guarantee you the valet will take the keys from the A45 and put his car in the basement and let your Mustang park in front together with the Ferraris and Lamborghinis that's the difference so go for the Mustang alright uh, Vento or Polo they're both the same uh, Mustang GT350 or Corvette oh, Corvette bro Corvette bro I almost bought that car but I need to give up everything to buy that car I might lose my wife or so I love that car man um, uh, Bobby VW Arteon Arteon is overpriced it is a Passat it's overpriced um, but it's beautiful it's a beautiful overpriced car alright uh, I really hope you pick my question I'm going to graduate soon I want some cars that are below 100k I don't want to be buying a Broda or Honda I want something fun to drive 86 you, you can find some that is below 100k now all right uh hi bobby range rover velar or x5 velar bro velar the velar is so beautiful it makes you more handsome it makes you longer seriously the velar is so beautiful go for the velar uh it might have some of the flaws and all that 
Okay, I'm not sure whether you're talking about the new X5 or not. If you're talking about the new X5, yes, it's very nice, but it looks like a green car at the back. Get a bit Um. Ooh. I currently own a 520i F10. I want to upgrade to a Continental 4-liter V8, bro. I can't judge you anymore, right? Your level is so high. Please get that Continental. It's so beautiful. Please, 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 please. Um, it's a used W140, a good buy now. It's a very, very good buy. It's so cheap. But you need to have enough money, a lot of money, to do it up. But if you do it up, it is a massively over-engineered car. It just looks so badass. Uh, last year's Enduro, there's one guy who made his W140 into a police car together with us and then joined us for the drive to Phuket. It looks properly badass, especially when it's in your rear view mirror. Alright, any thoughts on Golf GTI? Uh, any issues with the infamous DSG gearbox? I mean, the, the reason the DSG gearbox is infamous is because it has some issues, right? But I'm going to repeat my experience here, my personal experience. Okay? Um, my S4 developed a jerk back in 2012 or 13 or 14, I cannot remember, 13, 12. Then I went to my trusted mechanic at the time. I supported him for 10 years, right? Immediately he said, Bobby, change your mechatronic. You know, it's only 15,000. Let's change it. Then uh, I, I I asked around. Another guy said, let him check. So I let him check. It turns out it's just my printed circuit. It's only 700 ringgit. And it's fixed. All right? So instead of spending 15,000 on a mechatronic, I spent 700 ringgit on a printed circuit. Then I drove it for a few years, then it developed a jump as well. The time I was in talks with another mechanic, he said, uh, one mechanic told me to change the mechatronic, another mechanic said, let him have a look. So what he, he was, he said, why don't you refresh all your software, download a new patch and let the car reload everything, you know? So I did that, reload everything, service the thing, it's smooth as hell. Uh, yeah. And I paid him 2,000 ringgit for the whole one day thing to re-upload the software where you cannot touch the car. You can't even open the door or close the door. You can't touch the car at all while the car is doing that whole thing. Yeah. So you see, it's mechanics, a lot of time. All right. Do cross-check. Don't ever stick with one mechanic. Don't. Yeah. Another thing is a lot of mechanics, right? When you go there for the first time, I tell you, they scan you. They will see whether this customer is rich or not. All right, that's the first thing. Second thing, your first visit is the time they gain your trust. All right, I'm talking about some mechanics out there. There are good ones, but there are bad ones also. Right, so your first job is always, huh? So cheap, ah? Yeah, bro. Wow, I trust you, man. Next time I'm gonna come back. Yeah. So, the more loyal customers they have, uh, the more people they can use when they, sometimes. Not all mechanics are like that, but some are like that, my personal experience, all right? Um, Bobby Q8 or X6, I don't know man, I do not really like the Q8, nor the X6, so unfortunately, uh, get a used Cayenne or something, all right? It's a brilliant car. Uh, Bobby NRS or Civic FKR? Now, the FKR, I know a lot of people ask this question. It's fast, it's capable, blah, 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 but it's soft. It's comfortable. It's just like a manual Golf R, whereas the Megane RS is still exciting. Alright? Don't ask me this kind of question. Uh, I love Ferrari or Spider. You, you want to buy me? Be careful. <laughs> Uh, 1.4 turbo over 1.2 turbo Golf VW Well, always go for the larger displacement, I guess uh, How much you bought your S6? A 2012 S6 for 298k Is it a good deal? Yes, it is a good deal Even though I got a slightly better deal But this is still a good deal Alright, go for the S6 uh, how about Lexus LC500? Oh, I love that car, man. I love the LC500. Fantastic car. Um, one Series A-Class Golf GTI. Which one is better to pick up hot chicks? A-Class. 
unfortunately is an A class. So if you want to pick up chicks and do something with them, A class. All right. Uh, you see, so fast it's forty minutes already. This live has become forty minutes. Crazy. Uh, Bobby, use RS six versus. M5, why you did not consider the M5? The M5 is a bargain now, 180,000, 190,000. Whereas the RS6 is, is double the price in terms of used car value. Uh, why do I like the RS6? I like wagons, you know? And I already have a 6 series with a nicer interior than a 5 series. So why would I go for another 5 series even though it's an M5? You get what I mean? I don't want the same experience. So I always encourage people to have different, different kind of cars, all right? Um, oh, the comments are coming in so fast. Lexus ES 250 or 5 Series. You have to give me some background, you know. If you just want a car, just use the in and out. Very few cars can beat the ES 250, man. It's luxurious, it's comfortable, it's absolutely rock solid reliable, all right? What be a used Audi A3 1.4 or a BMW 316i? Why don't you use your budget to buy something better? Basically, you your budget can buy a 316i, right? You take this budget and you go and nego with a 328 or 320. Trust me, you'll be able to nego it. Right? Don't just look at the listing price. These two are out of your budget and you totally do not consider that. No, take your 316i budget and go to a 328i find one of the 328i's that are willing to let go at your budget that's the way to shop cars that's how to buy good deals right you need to nego you cannot just look at the face value and you shy off no don't do that all right because a 316i and the audi a3 1.4 both these are the the the, the unicef specs of your cars so when it's when it's a used car try your best to just get a, a nego a better back all right 200k for a cla 45 Whoa, that's cheap now bye bro bye um m2 competition or m3 you know what I, I i haven't driven the m2 competition i've driven the m3 i prefer the m3 and m4s the m2 feels feels like a hot hatch you know all it does is just grip it grips and grips and grips and grips and grips and grips. It just grip, 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 grip. So it feels like a hot hatch. So I prefer the M3 M4. A bit play, a bit more playful. All right, Mazda CX3 or Honda Civic 1.5 Turbo. Now, when it comes to wait, CX3, Civic lah. I mean, if you ask me like that, right? Because the CX3, if it is your only car. You can't even fit a child seat at the back there. I mean, a big child seat, you can't fit inside a CX-3. So, uh, go for the Civic, you know. It's larger, more practical, has the power, you know, and all that. Even though it's everywhere. Even though the CX-3 is prettier. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a slow mode for... Is it? Where? How? <laughs> I don't know how to go to slow mode, man. Uh, thoughts on Maserati Gran Turismo Beautiful car, beautiful sound Please buy it uh, Hyundai, okay Korean cars are very, 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 very reliable and durable Alright Of course, there's a certain batch of Santa Fe diesels They break down Okay uh, Is M5 a good buy? Yes, please buy them up The F10 M5s They are, they are undervalued now Fantastic car, please buy. Hi Bobby, GTR or Porsche Cayman? GTR. It's more exciting. And the sound. Yeah. But uh, if you go out Sunday morning just to tap out food, and then the Porsche is racing, illegally racing, but you are not illegally racing, and then both of you met a roadblock, the police will stop you and maybe let the Porsche go. Yeah, image. <coughs> That's the image of GTRs. Um, uh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, 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 
Hi Bobby, if you got money, would you buy the GDC 4 Lusso? So I thought I would last time until I've driven it. Uh, I still love the car. If I can afford, I will still want to buy one. If I can afford, uh, I wish I can't. But I just don't like the way it handles. I don't like the fact that a V12 car that is so big with a V12 engine in front, the front end can feel so light. It's too light for me. <clears throat> I like the kind of stable handling driving which the Aston Martin provides. So no, I won't buy a GDC follow so because I already bought the Aston Martin repeat and I told my wife I will not buy another car. And then the Aston Martin V12 sounds better. Burn me man, the Aston Martin V12 sounds better than the Ferrari V12. Stop. Okay. Uh, damn, it's just coming in. I can't, I can't. Any comments on the second hand i8 300k? If you really love the design, then maybe you should buy it. But at the end of the day, it's a 1.5 plug-in hybrid. At the end of the day, it's a 1.5 plug-in hybrid. All right. Um, yeah, after your excitement wears off, you know, I don't know, man. Um, uh, Brian, you want to join us as a photographer? I mean... We already have photographers, I mean, but if you want to just join us on outing or whatever, just contact Bing on her channel. Alright. Uh, best manual car under 200k. I, I, I really do not know, man. I really don't know. Uh, a used car, I, I presume? Uh, Megan RS or Volkswagen Sirocco R? Megan RS for me? Wait, quite like the Sirocco R. Ah! <laughs> well, again, uh, hi Bobby, C300 or 330i, my choice. Wow, I think you are like. Uh, my gripe with the 330i is the comfort. Now, if you go and test drive the 330i, you are okay with the suspension comfort, then buy. If you are not okay with that, then go for the C300 because the C300 is definitely more comfortable. But soundproofing wise, the C300 is crap compared to the 3 Series. Alright? Uh, no, I don't have a chance to drive a GDR R35 before. I have chances where I can ask that person, but this kind of car, I'm not sure whether I should ask. Sometimes when you ask, they they, they sergan to say no, you know, and then you don't dare to drive, so I don't want. I, I, I hope someone who said that, hey Bobby, can you drive my car, go Gunding Run? And uh, like, just like Uncle YS, I mean, I would, I would be glad to do that. Of course, I'll be careful. Lah, huh? So far, my record in this line is zero. Zero accidents, okay? Unlike some who claim I drive dangerously. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 993 Aircool or F430? Come on, lah, what question is this? 993 Aircool, bro. F430s are everywhere. They are everywhere. Okay. Uh, hi, Bobby. If you got 1 million budget to buy a sports car, do you know that 1 million is not a lot these days? Right? 1 million. Nah. <laughs> I don't like I don't like the kind of really sharp sports cars. I don't like them. Yes, the kind of mid-engine supercar. I don't like those designs. I, I never like those cars. Right? Uh, maybe a Porsche. In terms of strictly sports cars, maybe maybe Porsche. Yeah. Uh, GT cars, I prefer GT cars, alright? Grand, grand Touring cars, okay? Hey, guys, this is no longer like buying advice, really, you know? This is like really chatting here, man. I can see the fuckers, yo, the question, uh, this is not buying guide anymore. It's <laughs> like, uh, yo. Huh, 5,000, uh, COVID 19, serious Malaysia? 5,000? Anyway, uh, a used Mercedes station wagon. Yes, please buy a C-Class wagon because E-Class wagon, you look like Nirvana. So, yeah. Is Cooper S 2016 a good buy? Yes. Yes. Inspira or Serato? You know what? I, I'm more inclined to the Inspira than the Serato because the Inspira handles really, really well. It outhandles the Serato. It even outhandles the same era Honda Civic FB. Alright, so the Inspira is a fantastic car. Uh, Bobby XC90 or 
X5. The price difference is too big, right? Basically, the XC90 has no competitors now, provided it is subjected to the same tax rate as the others, then the XC90 will end up 700,000 ringgit because it's very, very highly spec. So as long as you can still buy Volvo plug-in hybrids in Malaysia for zero tax, which is what they are sold now, go for it. Uh, bang for buck wise, they are unbeatable because the XC90 T8 that is sold here is the same price as a Range Rover uh, Sport in, in European countries. So you are literally buying at half price. All right, uh, WRX SD, SDI or FKA Type R. You didn't mention which one. I will assume it's the current one. I will go for the WRX, right? You look like a, more like a proper car guy. Um, uh, Crown Athlete or Mark X. Ooh. Now Crown is one segment above the Mark X. So go for the Crown if both are within your budget. All right, go for the Crown. Uh, E60 M5 or F10 M5. Interesting. An F10 M5 can buy three E60 M5s. And uh, of course, for me personally, day-to-day -day drive, for the kind of... Uh, I really like the E60 M5 though. The sound. The sound. E60 M5. You, would not, you will never get a V10, naturally aspirated V10 sedan anymore. And now they are at about 60,000. You buy it now, the prices will go back up. You buy an F10 M5 at 180,000, it will drop. It will still drop. Whereas the E60 will go up. Okay? Okay, guys, it's already 50 minutes. The more I talk, I don't know when to stop, all right? Uh, I need to stop the, 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 the live now because if not, I would not know how to stop it. All right, thank you so much for logging on. I'm gonna go on again and I'll, 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 I'll study more how this works. All right, if I don't stop, I won't be able to stop until tonight. How do I press stop? Wait, how do I end this? Is there an end button? Do I end this? Crap. Oh, my phone is burning, man. How do I end this? Is there an end button? Huh? There's no end button on ah. How? How? I press the X, okay.